in Kaduna. A wicked son of the beast. And I want to say it very clear. Ero 5, if he doesn't repent, he would die a miserable death. Miserable. Miserable death. Which I consider very primitive and uh, retrogressive. Whatever it was that he said. But if he doesn't take it back, well, you know, many people will be uh, disappointed. Disappointed, absolutely. That, uh, this, is, uh, this is the situation. Like his good. Chances are excellent you will not respect the excellency of his voice. Shall I pursue? Shall I overtake? And the Lord says, since you paid attention to my leadings, go ahead and pursue. Truly, if I want to say our response, our simple response is that ignore the madman. Prophet Isa Ebuba have already responded back to Herufai, the Kaduna state governor, on how he criticized the Christian and give appraisal to the Muslim Muslim ticket and how the Muslim Muslim ticket is replicating the full country Nigeria. Now, I know a lot of people have slammed his statement, but I want you guys to watch what Prophet Isa Ebuba said. We'll be right back to do some messages to this particular video. I stand to address you, every believer in Nigeria, on the statement of El Rufai, the son of the devil, acting the script of his father, the devil. El Rufai spoke on in Hausa, on Islamic rule and jihad in Kaduna and in Nigeria recently. God has his ways of revealing and exposing people. Erufai that we see and we hear together with certain men is the evil terrorist behind the killing of Christians and the shared Muslims in Kaduna. A wicked son of the beast. And I want to say it very clear. Erufai, if he doesn't repent, he would die a miserable death. Miserable. Miserable death. Miserable death. Erufai disclosed that Islamic government and jihad has been inaugurated in Kaduna during his tenure to promote Islam and to wage war against the Christians of southern Kaduna until they surrender to Islamic rule and accept Islamic rulership as a way of life. After a few more channels of Muslim rulers in Kaduna, according to him, he said the Christians of southern Kaduna will be dealt with continuously until they surrender without further resistance to House of Fulani rule in the state. Erufai also said in that video, that the idea of Asiwa Jibola Tinebo was agreed upon by him and the Muslim colleagues in the north, himself and Matawali. And you can, you can just see even the thing that Matawali has gone through. This is the beginning of their fall. They said they did it in order to pave the way toward inauguration of permanent Islamic rule in Nigeria through an Islamic alliance between the Muslims in the north and the Muslims in the southwest. He said after a few more Muslim, Muslim rule in the state, what is happening in Kaduna will be replicated in Nigeria. He further reiterated that the Christians and Peter Obi have been put to shame in the last presidential elections according to him. All the Christian religious based campaigns of Peter Obi has come to now. And he said, Christian Association of Nigeria has been put to shame and they have been silent. Now, I know a lot of you might not understand what Prophet Isa Ibuba is reacting to. Believe it or not, I believe all clergymen should stand up for this and they have to voice out. There are certain things you shouldn't just let slide because this is a big slap on the Christian's faith. Quote a quote, I want to read through what Governor Erufai said. According to him, he said that what we successfully did in Kano Muslim Muslim ticket has now been replicated all over the countries. No liar will ever come out to play politics of Christianity and win elections again. This is what Governor Erufai just said. 
Well, I can't just glance through everything he said, but I want you guys to watch this particular videos of Arise TV on how they reacted to it and the tweet of Nigerian Christians on how they also reacted to the old issues. We'll be right back. Nasiru El Rufai has been accused of wanting to set Nigeria on fire with his utterances. The chieftain of the All Progressives Congress in Play 2 State, Samuel Kwamko, made the accusation after a video in which El Rufai allegedly stated that he deceived Christians during the course of the electioneering campaigns. In the video, which has since gone viral, El Rufai is reported to have also said that the victory of Bola Ahmed Tinubu had silenced the Christian Association of Nigeria, adding that he will sustain an Islamic-dominated government for 20 years and unending, not only in Kaduna State, but in Nigeria at large. To him meant that the former governor cannot be exonerated from the wanton killings, demolition of houses, and places of worship of Christians in Kaduna. Let me put it this way. Erufai is fond of making these allegations and then turn out to water it down. In 2015, after the election, Erufai said in one of the television interviews that actually the Christian Southern Kaduna did not vote for him. Personally, I did not talk to him on phone. I went and sat one on one on him. Then I was in the camp chairman and I confronted him. I gave him just three examples. One, in Jamaa local government of Kaduna State, the total vote cast that year was 86,000 vote. Erufai got 39,600. And the PDP candidate of that year got uh, 40, okay, okay, 40,000 or 40 something thousand nine hundred and i put it up to him why will you say that you didn't get the vote and he apologized to me and i said truly i got 47.8 percent of their vote you can see the requirement he needed was just 25 percent but he got over 47 percent i even went further to tell him kachia local government the total vote cast was around 60 something thousand the difference between you and the other candidate was just 1,000 vote so you got almost 49,000. he admitted it is true in Sanga local, go in, uh, in uh, Kagarko local government, you even got that local government. And I went further to tell him about Kauru and others. And that ended the argument and the lies that he didn't get Christian votes. Even in 2029, because the requirement of the law is that you need to have 25% in two thirds or one third of the local, two -third of the local governments. And he, got, he couldn't have gotten that without the local governments of Christians. But you see, I need to let Nigerians know. We have ever played this religious card. People are, lie, are, are pretending I don't want to speak about it. Buhari, in all the three initial attempts he had to be president, played all these games and it never worked on him. But because he had played that game, then he went into alliance with other political parties and eventually became president. Erufai is living in that dream that he could play this religious game and possibly also tomorrow become the president of Nigeria. And Nigerians are... So it's not a matter whether people are angry or whether the statements are weighty. Erufai is just talking about himself. Erufai has no respect for Islam. Erufai has no respect for the even Islamic clerics. Erufai is just doing everything for himself to get what he wants and not about the religion and not about the people. And two, Erufai is deliberately also setting a trap and setting a slippery ground for Bola Tinebu because the moment these things became heated, then people will go to Bola Tinebu. But we know the difference between Erufai and Bola Tinebu and others. So I don't think there's anything Christian. Christian Association of Nigeria never for once, in my, to my knowledge, announced that Christians should vote for Peter Obi, that Peter Obi is a Christian candidate. Nowhere. They were the same people buying young people, planting lies. I can give you an example. Reverend Hyatt, right. I met with Re pastors and I analyzed the political situations with them before the election. Before I knew what was happening on social media, it was announced. Fortunately for me, it was announced positively that I said Christians should not even vote for Peter Obi. But I know how they were trying to misquote other Christian leaders to give a picture as if Christians were asking Christians to, if Christians had really asked Christians to vote a Christian candidate, the result of this election cannot be what it is now. But you know, since he's up to something, he's playing a game, 
uh, they, what he will do is to confuse people, to set up Christians against Muslims, to set up Christians against the current government, and then he will stand to benefit tomorrow. Unfortunately, I will say to him, he has fell from the onset. He has actually proved to Nigerians that he is not even in the first place fit to be a leader. I think that is one of the problems in Nigeria. We give people power without testing their emotional stability, whether they are mentally all right to lead. Truly, if I want to say our response, our simple response is that Ignore the madman. Ignore the man who is calling for attention. Ignore the man who is up to a gimmick or to an agenda. Don't even take him serious. I believe, even if his Rufai's son is the one who succeeds Rufai, he will not behave like Rufai. And I know Ubasani or whoever is in government now will definitely find a way of uniting the state and taking the state to a higher ground. If his Muslim Muslim ticket has actually succeeded, we wouldn't have had the killings we had in Kaduna. We wouldn't have the division we are having in Kaduna. We wouldn't have the problem we have in Kaduna. So there was no even success to record about. The, so Erufai is just trying to play game and we don't even want to glorify his game. We simply see him as someone whose era and influence and power is over, but he wants to still be relevant and he wants to bring up something that will give him relevance because he knows that there are so many ignorant people around who may think that he's defending faith. But I can tell you so many imams will remind him how he demolished their mocks, how he denied them even uh, going to Mecca, how he maltreated them and never respected them as people of faith. So it's just politics to gain. I've said there was a precedent he is trying to take advantage of. But the Rufai, Buhari had some kind of three things you do not have. One, Buhari was seen by the people at that time to be honest. Buhari was not a talkative and careless talking like you, you are. And Buhari was seen by people to some extent as someone who they can deal with. But you, 90% of the people know that everything you say is lies and only for your own game. So we will not fight Muslims, we will not accuse Muslims because we know Erufai is not speaking for them and we know that Muslims will not think that way. The few ones that he has paid them money to go out and say as if it is a Muslim thing, we also know where they belong. We want a united Nigeria. We want a Nigeria that whoever we have given him mandate to lead should lead us as a people. The constitution of Nigeria makes us citizens, not by religion or by tribe. We are citizens because we are Nigerians. So someone who has eating and becoming fat from our commonwealth should not, because of selfishness, divide us and create unnecessary confusion. Nigerians must not take such a person serious because if truth is to be told, he needs a little check at the psychiatry so that we'll be sure whether he's healthy. As this person wrote, it is really disappointing for El Rufai to brag about religion in a country that is trying to heal. What is the point of the speech? What point is he trying to prove in an election that was clearly questionable? The APC, tell your man not to sow seed of discord in this country. Over to you. Ah, this is a tough one for me. I schooled in Kaduna, went to Sultan Belu Primary School. I went to FGC Kano. A number of my friends will refer to me as Dangarewa Dangkano and things like that. I speak Hausa and I didn't know I, that. Yes, I speak Hausa. I went to school in Kano. My school was just next to uh, Sirkin Zazau's uh, palace, Sultan Belu Primary School. And when I look at this, when I listen to that tape, I am just praying, please God, let Mal and Nasiru come out and say, no, this was doctored, that this is not him, this is not true. Yeah, I waited two days because to take the I've story. I've been waiting been, for it's that been to happen, uh, but it hasn't happened. And I will reach out to him at some point over the next day or two, because I've known Nasiru Rufai from the days when I was living in England. I came back in 2011, and I still say I know him fairly well. This is the same man that has a Yoruba man as a spokesperson, Muwa Adekaye. This is the same man that has a lot of friends in Lagos, all over the country. He has a lot of friends who are Igbo, who are Hausa, who are Christians, who are Muslims. This man that I'm seeing in this video, I honestly don't recognize. I don't recognize, I don't recognize this person. I don't know what has happened. I don't know the reason why he will speak in this way or say this kind of thing. I am hoping that this is not a man who has been extremely pretentious who has been behaving in a way that made everybody believe that um, he's a different kind of person. So this is not someone that I honestly recognize. It's condemnable. Everything he has said in this video is condemnable. 
And I'm hoping he will still come out and say he, he, it was misinterpreted or that's not what he said. But if this is what he has said, this is condemnable, is despicable, is not acceptable for anybody in public office, anybody outside of public office, no matter what you do. You cannot say things like this and be taken seriously as somebody who has been involved in so many things that have shaped the future of Nigeria and somebody who has a level of influence and capacity to really shape the future of this nation. This is not acceptable behavior. These are not the kind of words that you would expect from someone like him. And it has to be condemned in, at, by everyone. It has to be condemned. And I hope that he will come out and take those words back and say, he is sorry. He didn't mean to say this. He has to take those words back. All right, Dr. Bati, a quick word from you before I take the final. Well, story. quickly, I mean, religion has always been used as a divisive factor, exploited by the leadership elite in Nigeria uh, to divide the people. And in this particular case, we've just seen another instance in which you know, a political figure, a leadership figure, uh, is uh, using religion. He was speaking to a group of imams, and he was thanking them for the help that they have provided, specifically in Kaduna State, for ensuring a Muslim-Muslim ticket, and also at the national level in ensuring a Muslim-Muslim ticket. And he got carried away and got to the extent of saying that, look, a Muslim-Muslim leadership will be imposed, both in Kaduna State and also at the national level in Nigeria, for the next 20 years. That in itself is insensitive, is provocative. Uh, it doesn't show enough intelligence. Even if, uh, you know, Nasir Rufai says he's a very intelligent man and that he's going back to school to acquire more knowledge. Well, of what use is knowledge if it is not uh, applied with wisdom, with sensitivity? Absolutely. You know, I think, you know, what he has done here is very disappointing. Uh, given the opportunities that this same country has given him, Absolutely. given the kind of exposure uh, that we see on his, uh, on his uh, resume, you know, to now descend to the lab, uh, level of, uh, you know, saying, uh, you know, uh, we, we Muslim, Muslim ticket, uh, those Christians, you know, those playing Manichaean politics, a binary uh, uh, Manichaean approach uh, to politics, which I consider very primitive and uh, retrogressive. And I hope that it will come around later yes. to say that perhaps this is an artificial intelligence induced robotic representation <laughs> of whatever it was that he said. But if he doesn't take it back, well, you know, many people will be uh, disappointed, disappointed. Absolutely. that uh, this, is, uh, this is the situation. Like his good friend here, here Kyle. This speaks to most of the terms in Kaduna after the recent governorship election. In town, the frontline supporters, which gave APC Muslim Muslim ticket, victory in Kaduna and in Nigeria. He spoke in house and provided his prayer. And likely never knew it was being recorded. Thank God for the social media. Now I want to say very clearly that I have nothing against a similar thing to do. But forever and forever. Inside a woman will be against Muslim Muslim today. It is not about religion in terms of Muslim Muslim. We must, as a nation, stand for equity and for justice. We sacrifice whatever you are called shut devil. Tinubu is called a shut man devil like you. Tinubu has given liberty to his family. To worship Christ. His wife is worshiping Christ. His sons and daughters are worshiping Christ. He is not that short devil as you are. In the same way that you want him to think like you or to live like you. And I want to say to you that you, Eva, watch it. I'm sorry. For men like Obama, Sancho, and Jonathan, who gave me the opportunity to serve in this country. But I'm telling you, from this moment, your family will begin to experience disaster. Disaster. What times? I want to appeal to every one of you Nigerians 
believers of faith to rise in defense of our convictions and our faith. Let's not be moved by circumstances where people will seek one song today and seek another song to them. Let's believe for a new nature. Let's stand our stand and our faith. Share and I said, share a lot of you Christian religious leaders in Kaduna that align yourself with them of our share and share. It will never be well with you. It will never be well with you. I want to say to every one of us that are here and all over this country, it's time to join our hands together, Christians and other sincere Muslims. Because it was not only the Muslims that voted also for as you want you to do. It was not only Muslims. There is no one Muslim that can ever win an election without the support of any Christian. And no one Christian can ever succeed in this country without the support of the Muslim. God is not a fool. God is a wise God. He made us to be in one nation. Muslims and Christians. My house, my father's house, is a combination of sheikhs and prophets and pastors. We must live together. But I want to say that Elphar and all his God's happiness Life will be miserable for you. Life will be miserable for you. The battle is not over. The battle is not over. No matter the number of years, we will keep on the fight. We will keep on the fight until Nigeria is liberated as a nation for all. Nation for all. Where there is equity and where there is justice. For all, I will vote over and over the likes of Peter Mofi, over and over, over and over in the court of justice. When it is the modern term, I will vote for a Muslim over and over again, over and over again. We must respect our diversity. For the common good of our dear beloved nation. With all the key appointments made by Bobani from the law, what good has he done to the non Muslims? They are more poor than before. The law is worse than ever. The law, the law is worse than when Bobani came into power. Look at it, look at it all over. Compare them with the people that they are persecuting. Who are living a better life? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. You with all your Islamic agenda and your jihad, Kaduna is worse than you met it. But you must be impoverished. Let me state here categorically. That no man, and I'm saying it, no man born of a woman can Islamize Nigeria. No man, no man, no man, no man, no man, no man. God is the same yesterday, is the same today, is the same forever. The end of the story has not been had yet. And nobody can Christianize. The whole of Nigeria, no matter what, no matter. We must rather learn to live with each other, or let us go our separate ways. If you don't want us to live together, let us separate. And let's watch and see. You will establish an Islamic Sharia country. And let us establish a Christian country. Let that be a fact. Let's shame you. Nigeria will overcome you. 
Anyway, we're going to be ending the video today. I want to hear from you in the comment section. If you love our program, please comment your thoughts in the comment section. Until we meet again, please stay tuned with a lot of amazing video coming on this platform. Until we meet again, peace out. Don't forget to subscribe to get notified. And I see the show your support. Now say God go bless you too. Dance on the bed. Flambi TV, 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 TV,